Hello everyone, my name is Michael SK, and welcome to my review of Konosuba, God's blessing on this wonderful world, love for these clothes of desire. Wow, what a title. This visual novel was originally released in 2020 by Mages and P-Cube for PS4, Switch, and PC, and P-Cube has come back to bring this title to English players on the same platforms. Speaking of P-Cube, a big thanks to them for giving me an early access key for the game to do this review. As someone who has watched the Konosuba anime and enjoyed the wackiness that was provided all around, while well, I was excited to see what this title had in store for Konosuba fans like myself, especially with the third season coming up. Here in this title we get to follow Kazuma, Aqua, Megumin, and Darkness on a whole new journey, and their respective voice actors are on board to reprise their roles. With the anime art style, wacky moments, side characters, and a good amount of comedy, well this feels like the Konosuba that I know all too well. But how does it all come together for a visual novel? Let's start from the beginning. The story involves the gang coming across a stone tablet that has the ability to create clothes based on certain materials that you throw at it. But of course, the clothes that get made aren't just any ordinary pieces of fabric, as they have the potential to change the personality, emotions, and the actions of the one wearing the outfit. Oh, here we go. This is what it all means. What the fuck? The gang decides to hold onto the tablet despite the concerns of a curse accompanying it. Two things come of this. Darkness gets cursed, and they get accused of stealing the stone tablet. What the fuck? In order to avoid trouble with the local authorities, we are tasked with creating a very specific piece of clothing for a noble before a set deadline. No, I don't know. What? How the fuck? All the while, Darkness's curse has led her to having a flipped personality. She's gone from being the submissive weirdo that we all know and love to being someone who wants to dominate others, which is honestly a really funny twist. So we jump into the gaming mechanic in this visual novel, which involves undergoing quests and taking on tasks for materials and money in order to make the necessary outfits to progress the story. This is actually kind of neat and not too complicated. Three days to work out how you want to spend your time, a day to hang out with someone or go somewhere, and a day to buy and craft. Rinse and repeat in order to cure darkness of her cursed state with an outfit that complements her flipped personality and to clear our names. Oh, that's a part of the outfit. It's not a part of the outfit. Along the way, we get a batch of interactions between Kazuma, the rest of the main cast, and side characters that we have met in the anime. Hey, yo, best character. I didn't think she'd be in this one. I don't really remember Senna whatsoever, but even though she's the one accusing us of committing a crime, we can also hang out with her. Interesting. As the story progresses, the ability to make more clothes will open up in order to get closer to specific characters. Yes, this is a bit of a dating sim, and the goal is to keep making clothes to progress the story, get closer to characters, witness more wacky interactions, and unlock a bunch of CGs that may or may not be lewd. And that's about it. There are four chapters in total, along with a short epilogue and a character ending. And the following three chapters have a similar structure to the first chapter. You get accused of a crime that you didn't commit. One of the four main characters will get cursed. You have to make clothes to get rid of the curse, make clothes to progress the story, and get closer to a character of your choosing. Now this visual novel is short, it doesn't get too crazy, and it relies on Kazuma's interactions with all the other characters for a bulk of your time playing through the game. It's obviously repetitive, and while this didn't bother me at first, it eventually did get to me, especially after I found out the structure of this title. Once you get into the second chapter, which by the way is fucking bonkers with the direction the story takes here, and uh, I mean that in a good way, it was pretty funny. 
well, you've pretty much been exposed to everything that this title has to offer, which is a bit disappointing. It really does become business as usual with the mechanic of gathering materials and making money. The story itself is pretty okay and enjoyable to a point, but a bit ruined by the gaps that are created from having to create the necessary clothes to move on, as well as create clothes for all the other characters to try on and hang out with them in general. The writing for everything is also pretty great, and it does give me pure Konosuba vibes at times. As a visual novel though, it is very much lacking in multiple ways. This looks and feels very basic for a visual novel, and it's worth noting that this title was made with a controller in mind first and foremost, with keyboard and mouse second. A bit backwards for a visual novel in my opinion, especially when there are menus to scroll through for choosing activities, buying stuff, and crafting clothes. It took me about 7.5 hours to complete my blind run through this title, and I also ended up getting Darkness's normal ending somehow. More on that later. Without getting into any spoilers, while the writing for the character interactions and how they approached everything was great, the story's ending was very anticlimactic and pretty disappointing. As I said, because of these gaps, I just had zero interest in what was going on by the end. That was not a dream. Now to talk about some various other things here. The translation isn't something I can comment on, but I did notice some awkwardness in the reading at times. Sure, it read like I was sitting back and watching Konosuba at times, but at other times, not so much. There were errors that I noticed way too frequently, such as incorrect capitalization and grammar problems. I also think that this was overly localized, like they changed the actual meaning of words and phrases that you may often hear in anime and such in order for everything to be in English, no matter what. You know the Moe Moe Kyun phrase? Even that got translated to something completely different, and it definitely felt odd to read because I knew that was just wrong. I'm sure we've also seen how there's a sound that is made, uh, but that was translated to Mmm, for some reason. I just think they did a bit too much here. I'd say chapter 2 showed a fair amount of this complaint I have here. Now the game itself does run smoothly on Steam Deck. It helps that the focus was on controller support more so than keyboard and mouse like I mentioned already, but I definitely never had an issue running this title. It is a bit clunky here and there, but honestly no complaints. Totally fine functionality wise past the control scheme on PC and Steam Deck. I will say though, the more I played, the more I hated how the game was set up for keyboard and mouse. It just sucked. And of course, the dating sim aspect. It's going to be a selling point for this visual novel, I feel. It's not really my thing, but I took a crack at it. As I said earlier, I got Darkness's normal ending, and truthfully, I have no idea how that happened. I didn't utilize a guide in my run through this title, and I didn't really choose a specific character to go for. If I could continue to make outfits for a character, then I would put some priority on them. I'm not sure how I got locked into Darkness, as Yunyun and Chris were my top characters according to my affection meters, so I guess I made specific decisions early that locked me in? I'm not so sure. Either way, it was kind of neat tackling this even so it's not really something I'm interested in with games. But, as you can imagine, this whole process was also very repetitive, as it was always Kazuma requesting the characters to try on an outfit that he had made for unlocking more tasks and earning some cash. At the end of the day, this really was a CG collectathon with a story going on here and there. At least that's how I felt when I was slogging through the last chapter. So to conclude, this Konosuba visual novel isn't the craziest or even close to being an ambitious title. It was a simple visual novel to get through, which was a bit disappointing at some points, especially with how much the story takes a backseat. So this is how I wanted to see it. This is a great entry-level, beginner-friendly visual novel for those wanting to take a crack at the medium. What's even nicer for this is that it's very approachable for fans of Konosuba's anime, since it brings in the same voice actors, art style, and the kind of writing as the anime. But, and I saved this for last because I really didn't want this to have an impact on how I felt about the game, I cannot recommend this to anyone because of the outrageous price point. This is a $50 game right now, and that is ridiculous for a visual novel of this quality. Yes, it has some funny moments. Yes, there are some great interactions between the characters due to that solid writing. 
but compared to other visual novels around this price point, it's a bit insulting. If money isn't an issue for you and you are a massive Konosuba fan, then I'm sure that you'll have a blast going through this game over and over to get closer to all the characters and seeing the wide array of CGs that can be unlocked. If you aren't a fan of Konosuba, this title is just not for you. But admittedly, I did have some fun with Konosuba, God's blessing on this wonderful world, love for these clothes of desire, again, what a title, but the repetitiveness and lack of an interesting story presence pushed me away from fully enjoying this title. Thank you all for watching my review of this title, and again, a big thank you to PQ for the early access key. Thank you to Overcodex, Jamie11577, Repoggers, Ryan Dunn, the Gallus 90 and the rest of my supporters through memberships and Patreon for the additional support here on the channel. Konosuba, God's blessing on this wonderful world, love for these clothes of desire, is available on Steam, PS4, and Nintendo Switch today. Thank you all again for tuning in, and I will catch you guys in another video. Take it easy.